Good day, mates. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, he got a new hat. And I did, look, not just any new hat. Look at this hat. I got myself a genuine Crocodile Tomo hat, right? <laughs> As in Crocodile Dundee, but we're gonna call this the Crocodile Tomo. That's, uh, that's my new nickname here down under, Crocodile Tomo. That sounds good, but I just hope there's no crocodiles around. But <laughs> as long as there's no crocodiles around, okay? But, uh, but anyway, I'm driving along. I'm, I'm leaving the Adelaide Hills. I, I left this morning from Hon Honford, and I'm driving up to Mount Pleasant, I think it is. Mount Pleasant. And I'm going through the Adelaide Hills, and I'm just about to enter the town of Lobethal. And in doing so, I saw a sign for a chocolate factory. And I thought, chocolate factory? And it was only 300 meters ahead. And I thought, well, I might as well check it out. And, you know, in doing so, I think that I found someplace rather special. This is uh, Melba's Chocolates. And I'm looking on there online, and it says, from Melba's Chocolates. Everybody loves chocolate, especially when it comes from Melba's. Enjoy a scenic drive through the Adelaide Hills to visit our Woodside Chocolate Factory and view our extensive range. As you discover some of your childhood favorites, you can watch our production team in action or try our delicious Melba's Hot Milk Chocolate. An iconic South Australian family-run business, Melba's Chocolates and Confectionery have been around for two decades, producing some famous sweet treats. Our range includes signature giant chocolate specialties, cow pats, and sheep nuts along with our traffic lights and inch licorice so let's go inside and uh take a tour if, if we're able to i believe that they are uh i believe that they're open and it should be uh you just never know what you're going to expect but this should be uh should be quite interesting and then right next door i think is a place with uh with cheese you know cheese and and what have you there's a, a, a cheese uh facility right next to Melba's so cheese and cheese and chocolate look at this here's your chocolate factory entrance wonderful so we'll go inside and see if we can't uh, share some of this with you and they've got traffic lights old-fashioned toffees by Melba's and then you've got the uh, the inch inch famous licorice so, should be rather, uh, rather nice. And I would imagine that I'm going to need to uh, probably check in. Let's see. 1992 State Bank South Australian Tourism Award. Look at this. Here's a, looks like a group picture here of all the, the team. shop over here. Very nice. Boy, what a setup. No shortage of goodies in here. You can find out you get yourself some no added sugar rocky road. Here's some candy Easter eggs. <laughs> Wonderful. Now what is this? A giant, a giant specialty. Look at that. Oh, 
what a nice place. Over here you have the, this is called the, the panning room. If I can share it with you. Maybe I can just put my camera right up to the glass there. So there is your, there's your panning room here at Malva's. Not quite sure what panning is, but I'm sure it's an important part of making the uh, making the goodies. Talking about goodies, look at all of these. Very nice. Here's your koala. Just over here you have the the chocolate room. Once again, and employees only, but you can take a look. Looks like a lot of lot of good folk here. There's a wonderful looking lady. Very nice. Over here, it looks like this is where they box it all up. Imagine working here. I would, I would think that uh, that would be a goodie, pretty good place to work. I think I'd be the one always asking if I could lick the bowl. As kids growing up outside of Cleveland, Ohio, mom was always one to make some wonderful things in the kitchen, and. Uh, in doing so, us kids, we used to always want to lick, lick the bowl. And here's a kookaburra. See a laughing kookaburra here. Let's see. Right. You know, this morning I was doing a video and I was asking people if some of the more interesting experiences that I've had on my trip and some of the more uh, interesting people that I've met along the way and you know as I was just squeezing that kookaburra right there I couldn't help but to think about the, the kookaburra woman in uh, oh that would have been Picnic Point up in my adopted hometown which would be uh, Toowoomba I remember that was just a wonderful thing. I'll share some of these old things with you up here. Let me uh, take my camera up and kind of go down the, the row here. The good old days. Wonderful. 